Hi folks, I'd like to present my new Premiere Pro plugin for animating math formulas. It's called AnyTech. What it does, it animates almost any math formula, making it as if it is handwritten in calligraphic style. It is capable of animating elementary formulas from high school math, like this, as well as advanced formulas from graduate math or theoretical physics courses, like the Schrodinger equation, or like Kramer's formula for the rules of a linear system. Those doing science immediately recognize LaTeX calligraphic style. For those who don't know, LaTeX is a powerful system, which has been being perfected for the last several decades, I believe. So what I did, I animated almost entire LaTeX. I made, I would say, quite a high quality animation of each symbol. Look, for example, at this imaginary path sign in this famous quantum mechanical formula. The cool thing is that most of the lecture notes which are out there at the moment are typed in in LaTeX. So if you are an online course instructor, or creator, or designer, or just an enthusiast explaining math or physics things online, your notes are most probably typed in LaTeX. So my plugin is a kind of a bridge between the lecture notes and your Premiere Pro video production project. Therefore, to insert an animation of the formula into your video, you simply copy and paste it right into the plugin window. Hit Preview, wait several seconds while LaTeX compiles it, and then hit Generate button and wait a little bit more. And then the animation is inserted right into your time track. Now how it works. To make it work for you, you need to install the Tech Engine. The plugin is compatible with MicTech and Tech Live. Both are rather big programs which are completely free. Here are the links, and also check them out below the video. Once you install MicTech or Tech Live, you have two options. You may use native AnyTech installer, or you may use the installer provided by AE Scripts. Run the installer of AnyTech. You will immediately be prompted to provide a path for the LaTeX executable. Usually for MicTech, just go inside MicTech installation folder, find another folder called MicTech, then folder BIN, and then folder X64. For TechLife, go inside TechLife installation folder, navigate to the year of installation, in my case 2020, folder BIN, and folder Windows 32. And that's basically it. After the installation, AnyTech becomes available if you go in Premiere Pro to Window, Extensions, AnyTech. If you prefer the tool by AE Scripts, then just run AE Scripts Installer. Then what you need to do just on your first run, start the Premiere Pro in Administrator mode. Again, you need to do it just once. Start AnyTech and then go to Settings, LaTeX and just copy the very same path to LaTeX Executable. And that's it. The path will be saved for all future work. As you see, the plugin presents you with three buttons. The crucial one is Preview. The animation will be built only after preview generation. Open the lecture notes tech file and simply copy and paste the formula. Then hit Preview. You will be immediately prompted to give the path to where you want the PNG sequence of the corresponding animation to be saved. I personally, before starting any video project, create many folders for future animated formulas. Go to Menu, Save and choose a suitable path. And then hit Preview again. And here you are. Next, give the plugin the frame rate you want your animation to be interpreted. As you see, the default value is 30, but it's a matter of preference. Let's change it to 25. Just put the number 25 and hit Enter. Then it becomes yellow. That means it has been saved by the plugin. Next, highlight the track where you want your animation to be inserted, then hit Generate. Keep in mind, your animation will be inserted right above your highlighted track. And here it is. As you see, the animation starts right where your time slider sits, and consists of two parts. The first one is the animation itself, while the second one is the last frame, so the formula stays for some time. The second part is for convenience, you can remove it if you like, or add the whole frame manually afterwards. If you forgot to highlight the track, then the plugin would still generate and save the PNG sequence but give the warning and wouldn't insert the sequence into your time track. Season didn't know where exactly to insert it. So no worry, simply highlight the desired track and hit insert. Oh, one more thing. Make sure that there is a time track above your track of choice. If it doesn't exist, create it, so the plugin will be able to insert the animation into already existing time track. Now about the controls. If you don't insert any duration of the animation, then the animation will be generated with some default rather slow pace. Hence, the animation of each symbol would be of high quality. 
For example, even the animation of the simplest formula like a plus b will last for more than 4 seconds. Of course, you may stretch or shrink it any way you like afterwards. Or you may simply enter the exact time in seconds. For example, I want this simple animation to take 2 seconds. So I type in 2 and hit enter. The number turned yellow, meaning that before it is saved by the plugin. Let's generate the animation. Alright, it's okay. But actually, what if I want to redo it and return to the previous default speed? If I erase 2 and leave a blank field in the duration window, the system will simply produce the animation with the same previously saved duration. So it will repeat the previous animation, basically the same 2 seconds in our case. But if you want a default duration, simply type in 0 and hit enter. Then it will generate the animation with default pace. The next important thing is color. The default color is black. If you want to change it, you need to enter its RGB code in hexadecimal representation. Usually you don't need more than 3-4 colors during your video, so you simply keep the desired hex color codes written down somewhere. For example, I want to change my color to terracotta. Its hex code is E2725B. So I type it in the color window and hit enter. And here we go. Now the scale. The default scale of the fonts is 60 points, which corresponds to rather readable big symbols in the formulas. The plugin uses in the vector graphics, so if you want the larger animated formula, simply type in the scale you like, hit enter and hit preview to see if you like the result, and then generate the PNG sequence. One more thing, the plugin uses MicTech or TechLife functions in a recursive manner. For example, if your formula contains integrals, sums or products or maybe time derivatives, the plugin is going to use Latif compiler several times, generate preview rendering different parts of the formula. It's perfectly normal, so don't get confused by multiple small CMD screens appearing. Here is a typical such example of a complicated formula. And that's basically it. So let me show you how it works with some obituary lecture notes. I searched for some text source of online physics lectures, and here are the notes I found. Let's scroll and pick up some formula. Next, let's find it in the text source. To do so, I simply use the key phrase before it. Here it is. Let's copy it without formula beginning and closing align statements. And let's see. Aha! Latte gave an error during parsing process. Let us hit enter. So the preview is generated, but as we see, the structure of the formula is distorted. It became a one-line expression, but it should be two lines. The reason is that I, as a default option, insert formula internally into different formula statements. It's not an align statement as here. So to avoid this complication, simply check advanced checkbox in my plugin and copy and paste formula right with beginning and closing statements. And here you are. And finally, the explanation about preamble. Some instructors use shorthand notation in source tech lecture notes. For example, to enter a calligraphic Greek epsilon, I need to enter operator var epsilon every time. To save time, one can introduce the definition, say, ve for var epsilon in preamble, like this. def ve var epsilon. Or for vector notation, one usually uses bold fonts. However, in tech, to enter radius vector r, we need to type in math bfr. To shorten things, I introduce a shorthand notation in preamble. Def br math bfr. Click OK and let's check if it works. And here it is. So I hope you like my plugin and will enjoy using it.